Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to fix this semi broken GPU with this heat gun. I don't know if it's going to work so yeah, stay tuned. Alright so to begin I think I need to explain why I need to fix this GPU in the first place. Well this is a Gigabyte the GTX 1050 Ti. This is a 4 Giga model. There's some artifacts when you plug it in. So it uh, Definitely it does give a signal output. I'll show you that in a minute But there is definitely something wrong with the card and I've seen a lot of people these days that they buy like a small oven or yeah, something like along those lines and then they actually just put the PCB inside and they bake it for 10 minutes and then Actually quite a few times it actually works and the GPU is fine after that it works for months sometimes years other times it just works for like a short while and then it breaks again so i'm not actually exactly sure what's wrong with this card i think it has to do with the memory uh yeah don't quote me on that i really don't know exactly what's going on but yeah we're going to try and fix it so let me pop it in, in the machine and i'll show you now exactly what it does all right i wanted to give you a quick update i did plug the gp in there there you can see it is in in the system it is currently powered on and it does actually post like with this motherboard gives out like a certain beep code and then you know it did, did post or it failed and this board it definitely posts and you can actually pick it up on our network but it doesn't give any display out so as you can see there I tried uh, while well, I tried a display port I tried HDMI and DVI as well none of those three work I know in my system it did work so in here it worked as you can see this is water cooled and I'm not going to take all of this out just to test it right now. Um, yeah I'm going to try the heat gun on it and yeah just yeah, take the cool off try the heat gun on it and yeah then I'll see what happens from there on. There you go, here's the PCB. I cleaned it up as best as I could. There's still a little bit of paste left there, but I, I don't want to rub off the small components. I'm just going to leave that, it'll be fine. And yeah, I removed the, the back the back plate, the bracket, and yeah, the back is clean. So yeah, um, I'm going to just put it on this piece of wood, just to yeah, not damage my mouse pad. And then this heat gun only has two settings, so it can go 300 or 550. But I think 300 will definitely be enough, so I'm just going to keep it some distance away, just to sort of heat up the board evenly, um, maybe for a few minutes, and then I'll, yeah, then I'll see what happens. I'll put it back together, put some thermal paste on, put it back together, and see if it then works or anything, or if this was all in vain. <laughs> Alright, I just applied it to the card and I don't know if it worked. I'm definitely getting some smells, like, not, not burning smells, I mean just like soldering, like some of that. And yeah, I didn't burn the PCB, I can uh, visually I can see I didn't change. I just hoped maybe there was a connection somewhere that just wasn't making any correct contact and now it's making contact. So I'm just going to leave this to cool off and I'm going to put some thermal paste on, I'm going to put the cooler back on and everything. And then I'm going to test it and hopefully it works. Alright guys, I just put the card back together. It is in the system right now. And uh, it did post first time. There was no issues. And I'm going to see if it works. It did pick up on the network as I can show you right here. So, when we go to network, there you can see. Uh, this is my server atom, that's what I call it. Uh, this is this des desktop where the 1050 Ti is in. And it is showing up. So let's try to remote in. The previous time this didn't work as well. And uh, it works? All right, so let's see what MSI, MSI Afterburner says. All right, there's no artifacts that I can say, uh, say at least. So, all right, that's just the update server. But um, yeah, the previous time that I was able to, to uh, do this with, this with this card, it just had a lot of artifacts all over the screen, like, like it's basically like rogue pixels, like there's green pixels all over the place, and yeah, I don't have any pictures of that now, but yeah, this is a good sign. So let's see actually if Task Manager picks it up. 
And no, that's probably why I don't have any drivers installed for it. So I'll install quickly. I'll quickly install some drivers for it, and then we can do some benchmarks on it and see if it actually works. Alright, guys. It turns out um, it didn't work. The card is still completely dead. Um, I think what happened was was when I in, when I put it in the slot, it wasn't making correct uh, connection in the PCIe slot. So when it actually fired up, it was off the inter integrated graphics from the CPU. So that's why it showed up. And then I downloaded um, GeForce Experience and tried to. To install it but then it said oh, it has to be a G nvidia gpu and that's when i realized oh the fans are spinning on the graphics card but actually it's not using it it's actually just there as like a dummy um so yeah that is what happened it is not working so that's actually really sad uh, yeah let me check it out so yeah here i have the graphics card it is still not working uh, the fans are spinning but i can't i cannot get this to give it any output like any video signal out or yeah even not even device manager uh, this is picked up so yeah uh, this card is definitely dead and it's still dead um, or broken or what uh, I'm not sure exactly what I can do maybe buy an oven and actually bake it or yeah for it at a certain temperature for 10 minutes or whatever so maybe that is the way to go but as for now this is not working and yeah, but this was a very fun experiment to do. Uh, maybe I'll uh, do it again with the heat gun, just maybe heat it up a little bit more this time, uh, for maybe a bit longer. And I did heat the, the underside as well, if you're wondering about that. But yeah, I think that is all for today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.